GCSE maths working with the equation of a circle in 81 seconds. Let's go. Let's say we're in our exam. We turn over the page and we see this question. Sketch x squared plus y squared minus 36 equals zero. What are we going to do? Well, firstly, we're probably going to panic a bit because we don't normally see an x squared and a y squared in the same equation. But then we're going to pause. We're going to take a deep breath and we're going to remember this video. Whenever we have an x squared and a y squared in the same equation, it's going to be a giveaway sign that we're dealing with the equation of a circle. The general format for the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is the radius of that circle and the circle is centered at the origin. We can see in this equation here that we don't have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but we could add 36 to both sides and then it would be in that form. So we add 36 to both sides, we get x squared plus y squared equals 36. Now we can see that this is a circle where r squared is equal to 36. That means that r is going to be equal to the square root of 36. The radius of our circle is going to be six. Now all we need to do is draw that circle on. We can see that when we draw our circle on, we have x-intercepts of six and negative six and y-intercepts of six and negative six as well. Why is that? That's because the center of our circle is zero, zero, and the radius is equal to six, which means this, 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 and this, all have to be equal to six. And that is gonna be how we sketch our circle.